You stopping him working again? Yeah. And I got evidence as well, see? <laughs> Uh, What's your yeah. luck? Yeah. It's only a little hill. Little? It's a little hill. Right, it's high enough to walk without a pram. Have yeah. Have you pushed how, high, how fat she is? Well, you bought a pram with piddly little wheels. In the olden days, when people were sensible and clever, they had prams with great big wheels. May not be fashionable, but much easier, especially on our potholes. Huh? You're letting one go, aren't you? No. You look like you were squeezing one out. <laughs> I was giving you that vacant stare. Oh, the boo. All right, that's fun then. I'll, uh, I'll toot you on the way up there. <laughs> Did you just lose argument with the bramble? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. Let's get. <laughs> bye bye then. Ta ta. <laughs> yeah, she probably would too. Let's get. <laughs> Come on, you're with me. You don't want to walk up that horrible steep hill, do you? Go on, in you go. Good girl. Okay, before anybody tells me off, I offered her a lift up, but the problem is this is a van, not a car. So there's no kiddie safety seat or anything like that. So taking Millie up and the push chair would actually be breaking the law. And as Emma said, she's back on her diet now, back on her herbal life thingy, and the exercise will do her good. So I'm not gonna argue with that. <laughs> Bye! Two squirts? You say Martin took two squirts? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Kill him, Pickle. <laughs> Kill him? Was that for making you work in there? Well, I can certainly see the wood for the trees now. Our box have arrived, so I'll have to make the driver a cup of coffee. Easier than me shit, isn't it? Oh, peace! We've had a vote and decided you're a noisy bugger. I agree. <laughs> one load down, one to go. Right, Biscuit and I have got a trip to Thornbury. Put over to the bank. 
there. And unfortunately for us, the nearest branch of our bank is nearly 10 miles away. And it's a right royal pain in the what's name. When you think what they charge us for business rates and business bank and everything else, um, and then we have to now drive 10, what, 20 mile round trip just to put a couple of checks in. I know I could put it at the post office, but if I put it at the post office, it doesn't clear till next week. And we kind of need the funds in there for this week. Yeah, well, those of you who have a business and have lost your local bank, you, you already know. Looks like we've been having some fertilizer scattered about. Oh, he's going to the way. Where's the drone when you need it? I'm not going to follow him up there. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like he's doing the top grain first, and maybe this this one second. Or is he? Yes, he is. Okay. Um, I thought we were having all liquid fertilizers on the wheat, but obviously we're having some granular. I know they add a lot in stock, and as we have had some wet, well, I suppose maybe it makes a bit of sense. Slow release ish. I noticed some smoke when I was coming down the road as well, coming from a certain bonfire that has contained a certain amount of um, stuff. Well, Reg is here. We were going to have a conversation, but it started slinging it down, so we're not. So, although he has timed that just right, because now it means I can shut the gates for him. Looks like a stinker. Right. Oh, the marijuana's gone. That's for sure. I reckon that's going to burn for a day. We're checking it there. I don't actually know what it was because I didn't read the bag. Uh, maybe when I go back and look for the footage, I'll see what the bag says and I know what it was. But um, no, I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, it's going to make it grow. While we're over here, we'll see if uh, our friendly local council have been in and picked up pile of asbestos yet doesn't look like it. Nope. Unfortunately it is still there. Bugger. That didn't take him long did it? He's back.
He was such a nice man, I told him he could keep the mug. Well, it saves me washing it out, doesn't it? <laughs>